Hello everybody, this is Andrew with javadoblog.com and uh, in this video I will show you the difference between GDK and GRE. Um, there is something called GDK and uh, there is something called GRE. GDK stands for Java Development Kit, GRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Let's start from GRE. You need to know that when you write program in Java and you want to deploy it, you want to give it to a user to install it on their machine. Their machine need something. Not only the program, but uh, the Java runtime environment as well. So you start DRE, it brings up Java virtual machine and uh, Java runtime environment loads your program which runs inside the GVM. That's why users uh, will need DRE installed on uh, their machines. Software developers, uh, Java developers like you and me, uh, need GDK, Java Development Kit. It includes everything that uh, in uh, DRE plus it has Java compiler. You and I uh, write source code in Java, but uh, this source code uh, will compile into different language. Into what? Into so-called bytecode. And this is something um, that makes Java different comparing to languages like um, C or C++. Uh, what the difference? Uh, the difference is if you will compile language written in C language, the compilation will be done into machine code for a particular platform. Um, for example, um, if you write program in C language under Microsoft Windows, and uh, if you will compile that language on that machine, the compiled version will be specific operation system Windows in particular. This language, uh, like C or C++, uh, they have direct access uh, to hardware. For example, this particular compiler will know how to work with files on the file system, say, uh, on Windows. So, uh, everything is specific to the device. In Java, it's different. Java program is compiled not in the machine code, but in the byte code. Byte code is like um, something intermediate in between uh, the source code uh, and the machine code. But optimized byte code is something that uh, is needed by uh, DVM to run this program. So DVM runs byte code. When the program loads into DVM, this bytecode gets recompiled into machine code. When you write a program and uh, when you run it, it gets executed in the shell. So um, think about it, it's like a shell, like a balloon. From the perspective of the program that runs in there, it's the same regardless of uh, what operation system you use. So, uh, if I write a program that uh, needs to read a file, the program will say, I want to read a file, but the program will not reach out to grab the file. It will tell the GVM, GVM, please read for me the file. That as far as the program can see. DVM knows how to work with file system on Windows or maybe it's Linux and uh, it will read the file accordingly. But the program itself, it doesn't know how to read a file from any particular operation system. So uh, write once, run anywhere. Why? Because DVM anywhere is supposed to be the same exactly the same. Thank you very much for coming. This was Andrew with javadoblog.com. Bye-bye.